You are now between 34 and 35 weeks pregnant. Your baby is now 42.5 inches long and weighs 2,250 grams. Your baby is almost ready for the start. The kidneys are working, the lungs are as good as ripe, and the nails on his fingers are almost finished. The soft downy hair that your child was covered, let loose and get into the fruit water. Because your child always takes sips of the amniotic fluid, he also gets the hairs inside. That's right good, the hairs tickle the intestines, making the stool gets going. At the first poo diaper your child comes this out. That first feces, meconium, looks black and green and is what sticky because of the sugar in it. Amniotic fluid is a little sweet. Your child grows now not so hard anymore. He comes to us only a few a week. You have a big belly, then that does not necessarily mean that you have a large child gets. And vice versa does that apply. A small belly is not to say that you were a little child receives. The size of your stomach is in addition to the weight of the baby is also determined by the firmness of your ABS, the amount of amniotic fluid, the extent to which you hold moisture and fat and your own figure. Are you small, then comes your stomach more forward, simply because there is little room to grow in length. Are you long, then you have often a flatter stomach. Your legs often have to suffer your pregnancy. Thereby you can experience cramping. The cause is not entirely clear, possibly plays a poor circulation a role, but it can also have to do with a too low lime content. Did you cramp? Try to stretch your leg then gently so that the muscles are stretched. Shake your leg then gently back and forth. If you cannot still hold your legs, then you suffer from restless legs or itching legs. Probably also has this to do with your circulation. During your pregnancy is going most of the blood to your stomach. Your legs are springing up a bit by an. If you was bothering you, it's best to just walk back and forth to get your circulation going again. You have normally been suffering from varicose veins, then those can worsen during pregnancy. Under the influence of the hormone progesterone, the blood vessels slacker. Do not wear high heels, put your legs high as you sit and possibly wear support stockings. This also helps, alternating before you go to sleep or a massage from your partner. Your health insurance company you usually get a maternity package. In it you will find, among other things, sterile gauze pads and a belly button maternity related clamp. Good to have, too, if you want to give birth in the hospital. Maybe you unexpectedly ordered yet at home. Put about four weeks before your birth your bed on bobbins. Your bed should be at about 80 inches of height R. That's a good working height for the obstetrician and the maternity assistants. If you have the envelopes are all ready for the birth announcements, you can now write the envelopes. Or enter the address in an Excel file, and print them out on sticker sheets. You can buy special birth stamps at the post office, but you can also get a private stamp designs. To do this, use soon, such as a picture of your newborn baby. Extra special such a personal stamp. 